Hey guys, it's Troy and I am back with another video as promised and on a topic that I had promised you. Uh, for a while I've been wanting to do a video on upper end Pelican pens. I had shared some on lower end Pelicans and these are some of the upper ends. Not necessarily the, uh, the top of the line in terms of price or scarcity, but these are some of the nicer Pelicans that are out there and I've got a fairly good representation of the the basic models that you're going to be able to find. So let's go ahead and start from left to right and let's go ahead and start with this baby right here. This is something that was re-released um, in M120. I picked up this particular pen from MassDrop.com, now called just plain Drop.com. Uh, but this was released in 2018, and what it was is a re-release of um, a classic 1950s model M120 uh, in the iconic blue. And uh, it came in a, in a collector set. I'm not going to go and dig out the uh, the box and everything it came with but I do have some pictures of it that I saved on my computer and I was able to salvage so I'll share uh, that here with you okay so next to it is um, an, is on the lower end so I'm going from lower to upper as uh, as I go from left to right over here we have a Pelican M200 the M200 uh, came out somewhere between 1985 and 1997, and I picked this one up at AntiqueDigger.com. Uh, you'll find a link to his website in the uh, description below. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind discount code TROY at AntiqueDigger.com, and you can get 10% off from your purchases there. And uh, so the 120, the 200. Then you jump up to about the 400. Uh, I also got this one from Antique Digger as well. And you can tell it's got the white and it's got like a green tortoise shell uh, down here. Uh, the 400 is just a hair bigger than the 200, in, but it's it's very similar. I mean, it, it's it's very, very similar to the, to the 200 as far as I'm concerned in terms of size. You're looking at my big mitts. Um, you know, I, I like oversized pens usually, uh, but I do enjoy some of these pens. As a matter of fact, in the 400 series, I jumped up to this one here that I picked up. Believe it or not, um, I was in Nassau, Bahamas. We were on a family cruise, and I stopped by um, a jewelry store that had a case full of pens. And quite honestly, they just sat there. The sales reps really didn't know much about pens, so I stood there and gave them um, a tutorial on fountain pens and roller balls and some of the brands. And they had this particular Pelican. And this particular Pelican is the M420. And it's got uh, one of the things, the big differences between the 400 series and the 420, even though they're in uh, effectively the same series, is that it's got sterling silver on, on the, uh, the cap uh, and on the the little twist knob for which you operate your piston. So the 420. I actually like this one. It writes very nicely. I was very uh, surprised at how well it wrote. And I got a good deal on it. I really did. For um, retail, um, they gave me one heck of a deal because apparently they weren't really moving. So let's step on up. Um, actually, the 420, just to, to give you a clue, by the way, came was in production between 2004 and about 2007. Uh, from my reading. And by the way, I'll give you some links down below to some excellent resources of web pages um, about Pelican pens so you can do a lot more reading. This one here has been my pen of the day for the past two weeks. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, uh, Troy LaPlante Sr. on Instagram, and you haven't seen me post a whole lot of pen of the day pictures, one of the reasons is because I've been using this one and lately I've been using more than just pen of the day. When I get a good pen that I want, I've been using it and using it and using it. And the M600 that I picked up, um, I got this one um, at uh, Pike's Pen Place. Uh, Joe is a, uh, a pastor in um, Missouri, as I recall, and I picked up from him uh, this particular pen, the M600, is got a fine nib on it, and I didn't have one in red, so I kind of like the idea of having the red 
uh, for the stripes on this one. Great writing pen. It's probably the best fine nib that I have in my collection. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've been sticking with and writing with this one for quite a while. And this is one of the few that's in here that's inked. I believe this one and this one and this one are inked. And that's it. All the others are um, have been cleaned and put away um, or need cleaning. Now, my wife owns this one right here. She doesn't even know that I borrowed it from her, so shh, don't tell her. Uh, but I bought this for her for her birthday um, this year. And this is also the M600. Uh, but they had a special edition that came out in 2018. When I first saw this one, I absolutely loved it. With that, um, with that violet, um, that, that white cap together with that violet. And I'll be honest with you, purple is one of my favorite colors. This just looked gorgeous to me. And as much as I wanted it for myself, it's not the most masculine looking pen. So I managed to pick it up for my wife and she actually enjoys that pen quite a bit. So let's move it on over. So we've, we've seen um, you know the 200, the 400, the 420, the 600. And let's move on up to the 800, the M800. You see a pattern here in how uh, Pelican's doing a lot of their uh, pen models? This is the 800. Um, and this is one that I've been wanting for a while. I just recently picked it up. Uh, let me share with you too, it came in a box sort of like this, and you're gonna find the older Pelican pens uh, tend to come in boxes a lot like this. So you can see that there was a Schwartz and Grün, uh, however you pronounce it in German, but a black and green, okay? So it's a little older box, and uh, this is going to be fairly representative of a lot of Pelican boxes and some of the different models that I've got. So um, that's one way you can tell it's a little older. Um, and there is, there's another way too. You can tell how old a pen is by looking at how many chicks are on the cap or on the Pelican logo. If it's got a single chick, it represents um, after a certain period. And if I remember correctly, that was like 2006. Um, and uh, I will put an article down below in the video description. This uh, M600 here actually came with a box. Uh, this particular pen, the M600, um, if I remember correctly, they were like 2003 is when they started production on this particular model. And I got a decent deal on it. I mean, it came with uh, the pen, it came with uh, a Pelican pen sleeve or case, and a different style box than you saw on that older one. So, uh, fairly common for some of the newer uh, Pelican models that came out. So this 800 was obviously just a little older, and if you look at it, it still ha it has you know two chicks on it instead of just um, the one chick. So that dates this pen just a little bit, uh, but it's it's starting to get to the oversized. And when I, I like oversized pens for my big hands, and this one here was actually one that I had wanted to check out, and I had actually met somebody who let me play with his 1000, play with his 800, and um, I met somebody at Pelican Hubs two years ago who sold me this. It was still new in a box. He had purchased it uh, with the sole purpose of reselling it. So he got it really cheap when uh, when he had it shipped from England, when the dollar exchange rate to uh, money in England was actually pretty in favor of the, the American dollar. So he got it pretty cheap, and uh, he was wanting to unload it. He made a profit off from it. I got a pretty good deal on it compared to what they uh, are going for retail. So I went ahead and got the 1000 uh, before I got uh, the 800 before I got the 600 <laughs> So go figure. Uh, so I got the, the big boy, the oversized uh, 1000. I was really scoping out 800s um, in various colors. You can see that I've got one in red, green, sometimes they're in blue. I was really trying to find the this one in blue, the 800 in blue. Um, but I just could not justify some of the prices that I was seeing. I got a really good deal on this um, M800. So for the price point, um, in a hundred dollars or so less than I was seeing elsewhere, I figured I'll put up with another green one. I quite honestly wanted to be able to visualize it real quick. I can tell that that's my 600 because it's red. Here I can tell it's my 1000 because it's green. 
and oh, an 800, and it's green too. <laughs> so you kind of have to tell by um, how big it is in the hand. I will tell you from my personal experience, though I do like the M1000, and I've actually shared a video on it. It's got a great big old beautiful nib. I'll show you all the nibs here shortly, uh, but this has got a huge nib on it. It's very flexible, and it's very smooth. It writes very well, and it sings. when it, 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 Its feedback almost sings to you. This one is not inked up right now, however, um, and it is something that I'm going to have to clean out. What I will say about Pelican, these nibs do twist right out, which makes them very easy to clean being piston fillers. So instead of running the piston up and down, up and down, up and down uh, in water, you can actually <laughs> just remove the nib, flush out the nib, and then um, use a, a blunt tip syringe and flush out the inside of uh, the piston. So that works very well. So anyway, these are uh, some of the upper end pens. Um, let me show you too, M1000s, they, they do come in various uh, colors. They do come in special editions. Penultimate Dave, uh, some of you may know his video channel as well, and his Instagram channel, his website. Um, he's got some beautiful M1000s, um, and I've seen some uh, Raiden models that have just been released and are being pushed by some sellers. Um, and here's his Instagram photo, uh, and I will put a link to his Instagram uh, account so you can go check on that at your leisure later on. All right, jumping right back into it, I told you I was going to show you some of the nibs and what they look like uh, when they are posted. So you can see the size difference here, and I realize I'm zoomed in pretty far or pretty close on purpose uh, because I don't want you to be able to lose attention on here. Um, like I said, the lower end, but it still writes uh, halfway decent, and as I recall, this is a steel nib. And you don't get into your nice gold nibs until you get a little higher end. But uh, looking here at your M200, it's not all that far off from the M400. Then, again, for the 420, fairly close there. You get up to the 600, you can see between the 400 and the 600, there's a significant difference in the nib size. Somebody asked me if um, the... Uh, Pelican nib on uh, the video that I did for this particular pen was a number five nib. I gotta be honest with you, I have not seen anything that tells me it is a specific number five or a number six nib. Uh, Pelican making their own nibs, I don't know as though they necessarily adhere to the, that standard sizing. Not sure, could be. Um, but nothing I've read, believe it or not, I've actually pulled up a bunch of web pages and I haven't seen anything that specifically says number five or number six. And you're looking here, that's closer to like a number eight nib on the M1000. Um, this looks probably closer to a, a good number six size nib. So they're fairly comparable, but I can't say for certain number five, number six, number eight kind of thing. But look at the big boy here, obviously posted. It's a huge pen. It's good and big. Um, in the hand, and I like oversized pens, but you can see it, you know, it's still got some ink on it. I need to get that cleaned up, but that's a good size honking pen right there, and it's got a, like I said, a fantastic, smooth, buttery nib. Absolutely love it. Great oversized pen, uh, but surprisingly enough, believe it or not, it's not my favorite out of the bunch. I like the 800 better than I do that 1000 just because it fits my hand or just feels better in the hand than it does um, than does the 1000 so I actually like the fit in the feel of the M800 heat big amount until I get down to this one here you can see it was ink because I just left some ink on my tray this to me especially even if it's posted perfect the M600 about perfect. Perfect size, perfect in the hand, great feel. Absolutely love the 600. And of course, this also being 600. These three were the only ones that were inked. <laughs> this one had to be cleaned yet, and all these here have been cleaned and were just put up. So. All right, well, there you go, so, uh, nib size comparisons. All right, so this is um, this is my wife's pen, and this is why I bought an M600 of my own. 
I'm not the kind of guy who has to have one of every color that in you know, every edition of like the M600. Uh, there are people out there who will buy just about every color combination out there. Good for them. I'm not that kind of collector. Uh, I've only done that with one particular model of pen, um, and it's not a Pelican, uh, but I'm the kind who um, I do like one of different models, and, and even if my wife has it, sometimes I'm not so inclined to buy them until, like that 600, I saw one that was a decent price, um, and it was going to be for me. I said I want one after playing with my wife's pen. So her, her M600 has a medium nib to it. Very smooth, very easy writing pen, and it's somewhat flexible. Uh, this particular pen, um, I do believe uh, we have like a diamine, uh, I think it's royal purple. Uh, but nice pen. Fits well in the hand. It's just getting to the, the size I prefer when you start talking about moving up the chain in Pelicans. Like I said, that 420, really like it, writes great. But this feels a little better in the hand to me. So that is why I was shopping for and got one of these. I'll tell you that I paid a whole lot more for hers than I paid for mine. Um, I got mine used. She got that brand new. Uh, on this one, you can post very nicely, very securely. And you can feel the difference in uh, that cap. It does back weight it. I've got to still love the Pelican's beak. The Pelican beak on these pens. Uh, but so, this is another Pelican M600, and uh, manufacturing-wise, it's definitely older than the other, and I picked this one up used, but it does have a fine nib to it. One thing I know about Pelican is that uh, being a German manufactured pens, a European fine writes a little more sometimes on the medium side. If you're used to Japanese or Chinese, um, then their fine might be about their medium uh, of the Oriental style pens or nibs. But this particular one here, um, I decided let's go ahead, let's chance it with the fine nib because I'm not a fine nib kind of guy, but I love this fine nib. I actually do. I was very surprised how well it looked, uh, how well it performed, and how well it felt in the hand when writing. And I put into this one some Monteverde black ash. Believe it or not, I picked up this ink on sale. Um, and uh, I guess it was on clearance. I kind of like it. I do like a good black ink. So let's go ahead and show you the last one that I'm going to show you today uh, for its writing. This is the M800. If you like to post them fine, it posts deep, but I got to tell you, it's mighty big. <laughs> it's not quite like having a baseball bat, but it's a little big to post, but it does post securely. So this is my Pelican. M800. You can see that's also a medium nib and you can see the big difference. Very smooth nib. I mean I like it. I, I absolutely do like it. It's got a little bit of flex to it like most nice gold pelican nibs will have. Um, and I'm happy with it. I put into this one some Colorverse Schrodinger. When I've used that in several pens. Nice, smooth, good writing pen. I like the feel of the 800. You know, I'm kind of torn. I, I actually kind of like the 600 just a little better than the 800. That's just my personal feel. And I like oversized pens. But the 600 is just about the perfect size. And the 800 is just about the perfect size. You can see the difference between the two. It's not tremendous, but it's there. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, this medium nib, to me, is, is great. It's not the 
best writing nib I've ever had, but it's still a doggone good nib. And this 600 here, um, I've been using it because I'm not used to having a fine nib that I really enjoy. So, um, go figure. That That's uh, uh, pretty much a new one for me after all these years of trying different pens and different nibs. So, anyway, just to recap, throw them in here so you can see them. And uh, so, the upper end Pelicans, like I said, there's some special editions of the 800, the 600, the, the 1000 that are great and uh, can be very pricey. Um, you can expect anything from like $125 up to, uh, you know, seven, nine hundred thousand dollars and up if you get the special editions that you run across. I've had some sellers try to offer me uh, some some pens that they thought was a really good discount, but when you start doing some research, you go, eh, not necessarily. Do your research. Feel free to check into different sellers. Uh, that's why I bought from Farney's. I was looking for this particular pen. I knew what even a local, one of the few local sellers around here was getting for it. Um, and I went to Farney's website and they had a fantastic price on it by comparison. So um, that's why I got that. That's why I got these at Antique Digger because I've seen what they were offered for elsewhere. Um, the, this I bought because I had a guy offer it to me at 40% uh, lower than what I was seeing them priced at. At. This I found a really good price on it on eBay, so I went ahead and got it. This one, uh, you know, Joe's uh, Pen Place at Pike's Pen Place, uh, found an awesome price on this one. And for the price, I wasn't going to pass that up. And I just happened to, to run across this one, and they they took the price down so low. I just said, great. And then when I found out that the uh, silver was actually silver, <laughs> you know, sterling silver, I said, okay. That was a better bargain than I thought it was. So there you go. So my upper end Pelican collection, obviously my wife's Pelican, uh, but uh, I showed you the lower end Pelicans. Now on the other side of the spectrum, you get some of the upper end Pelicans. So I do highly recommend you experimenting with and trying a good Pelican. Um, building a nice little flock is a whole lot of fun.